today we're going to talk more about dynamic arrays specifically the logic in the filter function because this is crazy and if you've got kids who question why they need to learn algebra this is it this is it so check out this data we've got addresses and we're looking at houses all right lawn swimming pool what county the house is in let's do a basic filter equals filter this is my array comma and what criteria do I want to filter by I want lawns that are medium I like this range equals in double quotes medium close quotes close parentheses okay everything that has a medium lawn that was easy but now we want to start looking at multiple criteria that's when it's gonna get crazy that's when it helps to know algebra number one so let's do this equals filter my array again comma I want to look at small lawns okay now equals small and I'm gonna put this in parentheses now an asterisk for and open parentheses now my next criteria I want a swimming pool now I need to get my range equals y in double quotes close parentheses close parentheses boom all of the results are a small yard with a swimming pool that's why bridge run is not in the results it's got a medium lawn and no pool Burke Patton Street big lawn but it does have a swimming pool it does not meet the criteria of the and so I'm not gonna do this formula again alright but I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna talk through the logic number two this says small lawn plus yes for a swimming pool that means either a small lawn or a swimming pool it's okay if this is both a small lawn and a swimming pool like the Lincoln Street address Cherry Avenue is not here because it does have a pool but it's got a medium lawn number three now look at this one where the lawn is not small it's okay for it to be medium or big or it has a pool Brighton Circle is not in the results because it's got a small lawn which we don't want and it does not have a pool it meets neither criteria Kenny Peak Drive is here it does have a small lawn but it meets the other criteria it does have a pool number four in this example we're saying a big yard minus yes for a pool what this is getting for us is a big yard or a pool not both too much maintenance all right now let's look bridge run does not have a pool and it's got a medium lawn okay we don't want that one timber ferry road is not on the final because yes it does have a big lawn but it also has a swimming pool the minus is telling us one or the other not both too much work cherry avenue has a pool 
and a medium lawn. Number five. Now this one is crazy. We want a small lawn. Next criteria. Yes for a pool and leaf county. Notice the parentheses. They are around the lawn size and yes for a swimming pool. And we're saying or either one of those. And it must be in Leaf County. So that's why all of the results are in Leaf County. Why isn't Cherry Avenue on the final? It does have a pool. It's not in Leaf County. So that kicked it out. But 47th place is in Leaf County. And it has neither a small lawn nor a pool. That's why 47th Street is not in the final. Number six. Now let's look at where the parentheses are. On one side, we're saying we want a small lawn. On the other side, we have an and. Yes for a pool, not in Leaf County. The minus sign in the middle means Either one, but not both. Cherry Avenue is in our results because it is not in Leaf County and it does have a pool and it does not have a small lawn. Okay, let's change Cherry Avenue to a small lawn. Now it's gone. And that's because it's violating the either or but not both. Now it's meeting both criteria. We don't want that. Now I didn't go through all of the details of these in depth. I wanted to give you an overview of this logic so that you can start to play with these things. All right, I'll let you watch me play with these things. And the idea being change the operators, change the parentheses, stack up some conditions and see what happens and look at the results see if you can tell the story behind the results see you in the next video